my, uh, she's 25, boyfriend, he's 27, of two years, is obsessed with Dave and Buster's. Fair. So far, I don't see a problem. I really don't know where to start with this, and it sounds very petty, but I am at my wit's end dealing with my boyfriend. Some context, we have been together for two years, and he is overall fantastic. Very thoughtful, kind, funny, interesting, and responsible. For instance, he always brings me my favorite snacks when he goes out without me even asking for them. That's a try-hard move. Uh, he'll comfort me after a tough day at work. I work at a call center and get some crazy ones. For the most part, he is also very respectful of me. This sounds like a great relationship, yeah. PFT. We were both raised Catholic, and he's very active in the church and an overall stand-up guy, which I admire a lot. Literally, the only problem in our relationship is this obsession with Dave and Buster's. I'd say that he's the total package. <laughs> this is the total package. I'm only telling you guys all this so you don't just tell me to break up with him because although we have this problem, I really don't want to leave him. I guess I will just get to the bad part. My boyfriend absolutely must go to Dave and Buster's once a week or else he throws a tantrum. I am not exaggerating when I use the word tantrum. We are talking crying, stomping, etc. It's bad. That's, again, Dave and Buster's is awesome. Yeah. So this I, is a little crazy. None of this you, behavior is abnormal to me. He will beg and plead and state that the only thing he wants is for us to, quote, go to Buster's. <laughs> Why are you leaving Dave out of it though? Like I, I, I admire the fact that he's shortened Let's it. That he's Busters. That he's got his own pet name for Dave and Busters. <laughs> Basically, you're in a relationship with three guys right now: oh. your boyfriend, Buster, and Dave. Dave. And it's been more than a. If it's been more than a week, he'll say we haven't been in quote forever. <laughs> I love this guy. I want to be best friends with this guy. This guy is giving off major like I grew up in like some weird cult like environment vibes, right? <laughs> He's like, I can't and this, all these prizes. Yeah, you can and Dave win. and Buster's it's was an like a mural champion. Yeah, yeah, I like this. I like this. It was guy. his first introduction to electricity, and so he just like fell in love with it. Yeah, scratch MJ's competitiveness. It's this guy's yeah. competitiveness. Uh, I've tried talking it through with him. I have suggested other restaurants, even other barcades. But it has not, to be it's Dave not and the Buster's. Same. It's not it the is same. not the same. They don't have the same burgers. They don't have the power play card. They don't have the million dollar midway. There's so many things. Yes. So many games. Like, take me to a Chuck E. Cheese and I will I will throw a fucking fit. Also, new barcades, they always do like the hipster throwback games. Like, oh, we have the Simpsons game. Mm -hmm. Don't you love it? Nostalgia. Dave and Buster's has everything. They have yeah. the hits. They have the old stuff. They have the good new stuff. Mm -hmm. You got to go to Dave and Buster's. Just stay away from the deer hunter that makes you accidentally play zombies sometimes. Because <laughs> like, I, there's nothing worse than going up to a nice game of Big Buck Hunter. Oh, and then it's, and yeah. then it's, and you select your game and they give you zombies. Shout out to anyone who still has crews in USA. Oh, uh, yeah. When I tell him I don't really enjoy going with him and that he could go alone... He says something like, what do you mean? You love Busters. <laughs> I give you all the prizes. This guy's oh, giving away the gi prizes? It's not even about the material oh. things. It's about the process that he really loves. That's more than just a stuffed animal. Yeah. That's more than uh, the, the bouncy ball. The crazy bouncy balls. Yeah, that's it's more than the like weird jelly hand things that you can <laughs> slap and <laughs> stick on people. Those are only available like being redeemed for tickets. You can't buy those on the normal market. You think you just buy beanie babies? Knock be, knock off beanie babies these days? Nope. Hell no. Keychains? Yeah, oh. you better believe he's got keychains. When we do go, we spend a ridiculous amount of money, which I split with him. Now that now you are a good girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> and he makes me follow him around to each game to play together that's it oh wait no no i pressed him about it and the only explanation he's been able to give me is that he had his ninth birthday at dnb's and go. considers it quote the single best day of his life <laughs> this you know holy shit i love this I, fucking I this guy out. this guy's jim harbaugh yeah he might be this i is, won this so is much absolutely something that jim Yo, harbaugh would do shout out this guy because there's nothing like dominating something and then being like, for the rest of your life, saying, I just want to do that again. Yeah. That specific thing. And you know what? Like, the more I think about it, like, planning your entire week around one day of drinking food and watching cool, like, video games yeah. and sports, that's exactly what we do with football. Yeah. And we're it's, just, it's also, what's the alternative? Going through every sitcom you've ever watched and figuring out how everyone's problematic? I'd go to Dave & Buster's. Yeah. You know what's depressing is driving past a Dave & Buster's and not going to Yeah, it. be like, man, I really wish I could go like in. Everything that you do for the rest of your drive will not be as fun <laughs> as going into Dave & Buster's. As going into Buster's. Yeah. Uh, how do I help him move past this? I really want to keep dating this man. I know nostalgia can be a powerful force, but this is absolutely unacceptable. Please help. 
Uh, too long, didn't read. My boyfriend is obsessed with D&Bs and won't accept not going there at least once a week. We have a great relationship other than that, blah, 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 blah. I don't see any problem with this. No. You need to just... You're dating the coolest guy on the planet. Yes. The only way that you can actually beat this is if you get better at Dave and Buster's than him. Yeah. That's the only way. You cannot tell him not to go to Buster's. You cannot tell him, hey, we, you know, let's skip a week because then he'll say, we haven't been there in forever. You can't have him go solo. The only solution, if you really don't want to go to Buster's, is you have to get the high score on every single fucking game. That's exactly right. That's it. You have to win more tickets than him one time. Yes. That's really it. And he will never go again. He'll never go again. Yeah. Or just like, what if they go on a vacation? They probably can't go on a vacation. I think they probably go to vacations around Dave and Buster's. Only in cities that have (laughs) Dave and Buster's in them. Like, you can't go overseas. They've been to Tampa many times. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. (laughs) There's one on every block. It's like Starbucks (laughs) in Tampa. Oh, man. All right. That's our Monday reading. Shout out that guy. If we can, if someone knows that guy, I would love to talk to him. Let's go to Dave and Buster's with him. Yes. I would. Yes. In New York. I, we will fly you out. I love Maybe, anybody that's depending that, on where you live. That's that passionate about any like weird small thing. Yes. I just some, find them fascinating. Someone has to know this guy because there can't be that many guys walking around being like, I need to go to Buster's because it's the best day of my life. Well, Quote, that, the yeah. single best day of of his life. I mean, the staff at that Dave and Buster's definitely knows him. He's a regular. He's the only one that walks into a Dave and Buster's and says, I'll have the usual. And on- honestly, there's nothing cooler than being a regular at a bar. No, you want to go to a place where everyone knows your name. You show up and everyone's like, hey, here he comes. Mm-hmm. He probably changed his name to Dave and Buster. Maybe, maybe Dave, Dave Buster. Buster. <laughs> yeah.